Good morning, folks. It is currently 3.34 in the morning. I didn't sleep at all. I didn't. Re I really didn't sleep at all. I'm just so excited. It is opening day of Early Goose in Minnesota, people. It's time to get up, rise, and shine. Bang Cotton Candy Man. It's time to rise and grind, man. Early honkers, family groups. Hopefully they're just going to come right in today. Just gonna talk to you a little bit. Gonna go straight into putting out decoys, all that. I gotta go get my dad up. Hopefully, it's going to be a good hunt. Uh, there's lots of local geese around. I don't know how many are actually out of town yet, but I know there is a lot of geese around, and the hatch was good. So hopefully, this all goes according to plan. Hunting a hay field, so you never know. But uh, hope you guys do enjoy this video. Well. We got our teeth kicked in. Um, we saw some flights. There was, I saw. I think we saw like only three flocks. I fell asleep from like seven to eight thirty, and then it passed out my blind. But yeah, we got our teeth kicked in today. It's not good. Um, I mean, conditions are right. It's a little bit chilly. We got a nice little breeze, but uh, there wasn't really much going on today. It was quiet for most of the day. We saw our first flock at six thirty. And from there on, we didn't see another flight till nine. So, uh, yeah, no shots fired, no birds. Um, but that's hunting. They don't call it killing, they call it hunting. So hopefully tomorrow will be better, I hope. I'm, I'm hoping more will be on their feet tomorrow. But I'm gonna call this the end of day one. No birds, no shots fired. So uh, hopefully day two will be better, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning. It is day two. Um, it is what time? Time check. Time check. It is 3:34 in the morning. We are going to head out to the field right now. Get our decoys all set up. Hopefully, it is a little bit better than yesterday. All you can do is pray and hope for the best. So, I'll see you when I guys get out there. So, yeah. Birds, birds, birds. That's all I got on my mind. So, hopefully, we can get some. I'll see you guys when I get in the field. Well, we're out here. It's a little chilly this morning for a little for a cutoff, but yeah, we got the deeks all set up. We got some shells. I think we got like 36 full bodies. Nothing special. It's just early season. If they see it, they'll come in. But the last yesterday, we didn't see many flocks. We only saw three, and we hunted till 11. Hoping, hoping it's gonna be better today. So yeah, we get the blinds. Oh, I mean, we're basically invisible at this point. Yeah, we're good on that. Got a full body arm out there. We got the shells around us. And then we got another arm sticking out here. We got the kill hole right in front of us. I think that'll do the trick. There's no wind, so that could be another factor, but hoping it will be good. This is day two. Minnesota early goose season and the season is upon us rise and grind people It's got to be done, but uh, hopefully we're getting her done today, and uh, I'll see you when we're shooting birds
Be quiet. Yeah, let's do it. No. Do they come to the right? Uh, three. Watch that one. Watch that one. Watch him come back. Oh, here they come. Heads up. Oh. oh, I'm gonna sneak up. He landed right there. Stop. Relax. No, there's one behind us on the ground. No, there's one over there. I well, that was a good hunt for second day. We actually killed some geese today. We had one flock of eight come in once. We dropped three the first time and they came back three different times and we just killed all of them. Had a chance at some other birds, but we were picking up birds, so that's no big deal. Just wanted to show you guys what kind of spread we're working with today, where we're hiding. We're hunting a hay field, a young, a young hay field is what we're hunting with. But uh, when we scouted here day one, there was like some black, uh, I don't know what it is. It's, it's like brown weeds in the middle piled up. So we were like, they'll be used to it if they're flying over this field, which they are. Um, so we took it and uh, just uh, filled our layout blinds with them. I mean, nothing special. Um, didn't see us, they were landing in our lap. Um, decoy spread, we're just running, I think, some sleeper shells, which is early in the season for sleeper shells, but whatever, they didn't care. Uh, we got some regular shells with some high heads, low heads, uh, 24 big foots, and then I think another 24 avians. So we're running some big foots on this side some shells right in the middle right there and then we got one big sentry out there and with some avian feeders and some lower heads and then we got some oh, i can't remember what these are i think they're avian x lessers and got lessers out front got some shells in the back sleeper shells i already picked up a few but that's all right i got a couple lessers out there some big foots and some more avian x feeders and we made a horseshoe all the way around we didn't have any wind but they still they still came into that horseshoe with no big problem no issues no harm no foul so uh this is the end of the second the second day of early goose season won't be hunting until sometime next week thursday friday but we'll be out saturday sunday um so i'll get the birds lined up for you do a little recap of this hunt but it was awesome i mean smile on my face after yesterday, I was a little bit discouraged. We didn't really see much. We saw three flocks for like five hours of hunting. And today we shot eight by, by seven o'clock. So uh, yeah, I'll get the birds lined up, do a recap for you. And then uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Successful for uh, early goose season, second day, first day. Saw three flocks the whole day, nothing wanted to work. Today was a whole lot different. Um, a little chilly in the morning, but this is all in one flock. Uh, we killed eight out of the same flock, three volleys out of them. 
Um, yeah, it was a good day of hunting. Birds worked well. Saw a lot more movement today than yesterday, so hopefully that means something for upcoming hunts. But uh, hope you guys enjoy this episode of GM Outdoors, and I'll see you guys in the next one.